Hey there, and welcome to another Curtis Stage video tutorial. Today's tutorial is in Photoshop, and we're going to be doing some basic masking. So I have an image here on my desktop. Uh, it's called skater.jpg. Uh, I'm going to take this and drag it down to the Photoshop icon, let go. It's going to open up in Photoshop. I'm going to zoom into the image, Command Plus. I don't need to zoom in all the way. I don't need to get super detailed yet, but I'm going to... The goal here with this image is to create kind of a Pleasantville effect. If you ever saw that movie, parts of it were in color, parts of it in black and white. So we're going to have the kid is going to stay in color and the background is going to go black and white. So our first step, but we're going to learn masking. So our first step is to make a duplicate of this background image. So I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut of Command J. That's going to make a duplicate of that. Now, I'm going to turn off the eyeball on my top layer, and I'm going to concentrate on this back layer for a second. We're going to turn this back layer black and white. So we're going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Black and White. Now, I'm just going to click OK. I'm not going to get detailed with this here. You can see it turn it black and white. I could adjust different colors within the image. I'm not going to. I'm just going to click OK. That's great. So now I'm going to turn the eyeball back on on my top layer. We will not see the bottom layer quite yet, but we will in a minute. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm on the top layer. Now this is where we're going to create our mask. Now what is a mask? So a mask is really one of the most important things to use in tools to use in Photoshop, but it is not a tool over on the toolbar. We have to create the mask, and that will happen within the layers. So there's multiple ways to do this. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a way where we're going to make a selection to create the mask. In other demos that we'll do in class, we will do masks other ways. But this is kind of the best way to start learning how to use masks is to make a selection and then create a mask out of that selection. So let's do that. So what I want to do is I want to get one of my selection tools. I'm going to go up here to my lasso tool, but I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. We use that in our wine bottle demo, so I'm going to click that. Now, polygonal lasso tool, of course, I have some options up on the top. I want to just keep this very first option, which is a new selection. And I'm going to zoom in, not too close, just Command Plus. And I'm going to go around this kid. Now, this is a very low res image, which means there's not a lot of pixels per square inch. And so, you know, if you use a high-res image, it's going to be a lot better quality here. It's going to be a lot easier to make the selection. But this is a good challenging imaging to use, image to use because his pants are about the same as the grass. His hand is a little chunky down here. You can see it's kind of pixelated down at the bottom. If I zoomed into that, when I say the word pixelated, I mean, look at this. If I take a look at that, you can see those little squares, all the little pixel squares. It's not a very good quality image. So it makes it hard to make a selection with this. If I had a better quality image, it would make the selection much easier. Now what I want to do is I'm going to start over here, maybe on his knee, make my first point with this tool. And I'm going to let the magnetic lasso kind of do its thing. I don't need to be perfect here, and you'll see why in a second. So I'm going to click when I get to like little corners. So I'm going to go over here. Eh, it's kind of rough. It's okay. Down here, when I get to the edge of his shirt, I'm going to go past that, go below his arm, and kind of work my way around his hand. Don't worry about getting in between the fingers. Not a big deal. We'll get that in a minute with the mask. So I'm just kind of clicking every once in a while to redirect my selection. So right here, I've kind of come to a point where I might need to re-click. Maybe I don't. I'm going to go around the skateboard here around the shadow. So I'm kind of weaving my way around this image and I'm kind of loosely go quick and work my way back up to the start. As soon as I get up to the start, you're going to see that tool change. Do you see how it has that little circle there? That tells me that I've come back to the start of this of where I first made my selection point. So then when I click, it's going to give me marching ants. It means I have a selection. Now, I do want to get this space right here. So I want to subtract that from my selection. To do that, I could go up to my options bar up here and select subtract from selection. Or better yet, I could hold option down on my keyboard and then kind of get this space right here and kind of go in here. And I switched over to the polygonal lasso tool. It's okay if it's not perfect. And there we go. Now you can see I've got marching ants in that spot too. So this will now 
take away from the selection. I've only got the kid selected in his skateboard. Okay, now I wanna create the mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the bottom of our layers panel and click the little this little uh, rectangle with the circle in it. As soon as I do, you can see, whoa, all right, we got something happening here, right? The mask is, is taking effect. Now, what is a mask? You can see that on my layer over here, it has got this little additional part to the on the right. This is telling me that I've got the mask. A mask is black and white. You're not editing them. You're not painting the mask. There's no, the mask isn't any artwork. It is telling you, it's almost like masking tape, right? So think of this area right here like masking tape where you've laid down blue painter's tape. Anything that's black is going to hide what's to the left over here. So I'm, so here's the mask. Anything that's black in this mask is going to hide anything over here to the left, which we're seeing it's hiding it because it's color to the left and it's going to reveal what's below. And anything that's white over here is going to reveal to the left. Well, and it can't do anything below it because if it's revealing to the left, well, that's blocking what's below. So a mask works black and white and gray. You can have grays in a mask as well, and that would soften the mask's edges, let's say. Now, the beauty about the mask is it allows us to non-destructively edit an image, which means we can, we can go in and clean up an image and finely tune edits on an image without actually touching pixels at all. We're not editing any of the pixels over here. We're doing it on the mask. So I'm not using an eraser or a paintbrush or anything like that and painting on this image to get this effect. Now, I want to clean up. So I'm going to zoom in, Command Plus, maybe an area of the image that I want to fix. And I'm going to go over here to his arm. And I clearly you know, need to fix this area. It's a little sloppy around here. Now, I'm going to go up to View and Show. And I'm going to take off pixel grid. If you have that on, it might get in your way visually. So I'm going to view, show, uncheck pixel grid, and it takes that off. There's the pixel grid on. shows me individual pixels. I want to take that off. View, show, uh, uncheck pixel grid. So now I have that off. So I'm going to take that off. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my paintbrush. Now, we don't have time to get into the paintbrush tool in detail today, but I'm just going to pick a basic brush. So I'm going to go over to the paint, paintbrush. I'm going to go over to my tools over here. I, I don't have any presets in there. I want to go right here. I've got like a basic general brush selection. I want to take a hard round. That's it. Don't want to get crazy on that. Now, my brush size is indicated when I hover my mouse over my canvas, you can see my brush size, and I can change the brush size with my bracket tools on my keyboard. So I can go bracket to the left next to the P, will make the brush smaller, bracket to the right will make my brush bigger. So I want to go to the left, make my brush smaller, and then I want to paint with either black or white. So black is going to hide pixels, white is going to reveal them. Uh, right, so so black's gonna hide to the left, white's gonna reveal. So I want to paint this back in here on this arm with white. Let's say I went the other way and I switched this on my toolbar to black. You can see that I could make his hand black and white. That's how you'll go in and fine tune, clean up your mask. So I'm switch this back to white. Keyboard shortcut for that is X. By the way, you can use X to get back and forth on your on your um, on your uh, toolbar here so that you don't have to kind of keep clicking over on the toolbar. So again, black will hide, white will reveal. It feels like I'm painting the skin tone in, but I'm not. I'm not even touching the pixels of the image. I am just hiding and revealing with the mask. So I could go around and clean up all around this image. It would, it, I can get really fine tuned and perfect. So masking allows you to edit your Photoshop images and get them absolutely perfect. So there's no way that a viewer would see anything in your image that looks like a mistake. Your images will then become seamless in their, if you're doing, you know, kind of compositing, which we do in my classes, your composite images can become seamless using masks. So that is our mask demo using Photoshop. Thanks for watching another Curtis Stage video tutorial. We'll talk to you soon.